So today we are going to talk about my skincare as it pertains to uh, my recent breakouts. So a little history. I am 37. My skin is naturally really oily, really clean, really clear, really happy. I've never had acne issues. The one single time I had what seemed to be stress-related breakouts was in my early 30s. The Body Shop Tea Tree Oil line was recommended to me and it worked perfectly. It cleared me right up. So when my skin cleared up and returned back to normal, I stopped using the tea tree line because it was just too strong for my natural, um, for my skin when it was happy and normal. Um, zoom into the future, for two months, two or three months, I've had really bad breakouts along my cheekbones, which is why you can't see it. Right now I'm not wearing any makeup, but I have to turn my face in order for you to see it, and I'm gonna do that right now. So as you see, it goes from my cheekbone along to my hairline up here. My left side is healing, so this is kind of just scarring that remains. The acne in my forehead is not really acne. The spots that you see, the red spots that you see right there is me. I just did that. I just got out of a shower and when I get out of a shower, I attack my face and it's always my forehead. <laughs> um, I really need to learn to not do this. I need to put it into practice and just walk away from the mirror, but it's really difficult. Um, anyhow, so what has changed in the last two or three months within my skincare is oil cleansing. I am not blaming this on oil cleansing. My doctor kind of does, but here's why I don't blame it on oil cleansing. I have been, I have been moisturizing my face with jojoba oil and avocado oil for the last five years maybe, or longer, most likely longer. Um, I've had oil on my face every single day. I moisturize with it. I leave it on for hours and hours and hours, every day for years. So I started using avocado oil to oil cleanse about two or three months ago and um, and I started breaking out. It could be the towel. The towel may be the culprit here. Before that, nothing touched my face. I went years without even drying my face. I used to air dry it until we learned that air drying is bad in drying. So I started tapping my face dry. <laughs> um, but for the most part, I don't. I can't make sense of how oil cleansing could be affecting me if I've used it as a moisturizer for so many years. Maybe someone that's an expert out there watching this can tell me. I would love to know. Um, anyhow, I used avocado oil to cleanse my face. Maybe I should go back to using grapeseed oil because I was using grapeseed oil for a little while. Um, anyway, that's the only thing that has changed. Also, stress. My stress levels have gone up the last two or three months. That could be what's breaking me out. I really don't know. And my dermatologist, like I said, thinks that it's oil cleansing, though she is an oil cleanser herself. She's not against it in any way. Um, I just recently saw her Thursday, which is less than five days ago, and she recommended, she prescribed two different medications and recommended a few purchases from Target or wherever I just went to Target. Um, anyhow, before I had a chance to see her, I panicked, and in that panic, I went to Sephora. So I just want to share with you what was recommended from Sephora versus what my doctor recommends. First up is the Caudalie uh, Trio Pack. Now, this is not to bash anyone at Sephora or Sephora or the brand Caudalie. I love this brand. I'm just showing you, simple enough. Um, Caudalie, this is their Vino Perfect line. This was recommended because as I started healing up, I see a lot of brown spots, scarring. So the Vino Perfect line is supposed to be really good to brighten the skin and clear scars. Uh, this here, this packet contains an instant foaming cleanser, the serum, and the, uh, the glycolic peel for a gentle exfoliator. I do need a, an exfoliator in my life. I don't have one. So I don't know which one I will finally choose when it comes time to choose an exfoliator. When I see my dermatologist in a month, I will ask her and see what she recommends. Um, next up is again from the Col de Lee Vino Perfect line. It is the essence, a brightening essence. It's supposed to even out skin, brighten the skin, and moisturize the skin. So again, this is targeted. This was targeted um, to my acne issues, to my scarring issues. I'm sorry, and you know that's why the Vino Perfect line was recommended to me. That's why I was the perfect target for it. <laughs> um, next up, we have a really intense treatment by Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion correction pads. These pads contain 2% salicylic acid, 10% glycolic acid, and these two are supposed to help with, um, with exfoliating above and 
deep cleaning and getting rid of the bacteria below the skin. This also has anti-aging properties, benefits. Um, I honestly can tell you that this stuff is really strong. I do think that this started clearing me up. I only had a chance to use about three of the pads. Six, 60 come in this little cup and I, um, I only had a chance to use three because they're so intense. So I cut a pad up into three pieces and I use one piece every night. That's how strong it is for me. And I don't, I don't know if I have sens sensitive skin. I don't think I do, but, um, but this was just a really strong treatment. And I'll tell you how strong it was. I felt a um, acne growing in my chin. I could feel it under my chin and I tried to stop it from growing. And so I used this wipey or this pad to, to go over that area. And I concentrated a little, a little longer than I should. And the next morning, you see that scar right there? I don't know if you can see it, but my skin was pink. My skin was gone. All you could see was a little bit of flesh. I had burnt my skin right off. My fault, because like I said, I concentrated way too long on this area. Um, but that's just to show the strength that this little, uh, <laughs> these complexion pads have. Um, I'm not saying I don't recommend it because honestly, I would like to keep this in my, in my skincare regimen. I need an exfoliator. I would like to keep this, but it might be too strong. So like I said, I'll see what my doctor recommends. Um, I do think that this works because I think this started clearing me up. The issue is that this was clearing me up and new zits were popping out. So it was cleaning this up and then I was eat another zit over here and another zit over here. So my doctor said, I explained that to her because I actually took all of this to the doctor's office to show her what I had been using. She told me to return everything, but not because it's bad products, just because I now have to stick to her regimen. Um, anyhow, so... So yes, so she said that because I was spot treating and I was spot treating, I was only going over these areas that were really affected, that that's why I was having the other breakouts pop out everywhere. She said I have to field treat, meaning treat the whole face. Um, lastly, we have something that I don't want to return. I don't think I'm returning this. Um, this is Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence by Fresh. It smells so lovely and it feels lovely on my skin. I tried it once or twice only. Um, it's an essence, so it's like water and you just kind of let your skin soak it up and it really does instantly soaks it up. My skin instantly feels moisturized and then I apply my moisturizer. Um, I only tried it twice, but I love it. I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna return it. It is really expensive, so it benefits me to return it. It's $100. Um, anyhow, so that's it for Sephora. We're gonna move on to what the dermatologist recommended. Next up, the meds from Dwayne Reed. Gang gang, that's New York right there. <laughs> um, so yes, um, I had this whole big issue with Capsule Pharmacy. It's a whole new online pharmacy. It's not for me. I'm not anywhere long enough to get a delivery service. You know, I, I, if you can't leave it in my mailbox, then no thank you. I'd rather be on my way home, stop by doing read my pharmacy and pick my medication up. If I had a job or if I was home all day long, I will understand. Yes, drop it off, whatever. But I love going for a little stroll. I'm never home, I'm always busy. And on my way home, I can always pick up my medication at Dwayne Reed. I prefer this control. I I hadn't started my medication for days because they insisted on capsule, you know, being the pharmacy provider. I had to wait for them because they can't leave it on my doorstep. They can't leave it on my, you know, in my mailbox. And now I'm like days late from starting my medication because of capsule. And I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying, next time I'm the patient, I would like for you to listen to me and send my stuff to Duane Reed. Simple as that. Anyhow, that was a rant. Um, so the medication. First up. Trentinoin cream, 0.025%, and that is the percentage that is in each gram. The uh, trentinoin is a derivative of vitamin A, and it helps skin renewal. Um, how it works is that it helps the skin, new skin cells to grow. So it also helps to treat acne, which is why it was recommended for me and prescribed to me. It also helps to smooth out rough skin in your face, and... And this is what I think is making it a big ticket right now because when I um, when I did some research on this product, I found that it was linked to a lot of beauty articles. And that is because it helps to reduce the appearance of fine wrinkles. So I'm guessing that this is going to be huge in anti-aging. Not this particularly because this is um, per prescription only. You can only get this um, through the doc. The next one is Duac. And of course, 
my insurance only covers the generic brand so it's not duet that i have but the medication itself is benzoyl peroxide so what i have here is clindamycin clindamycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide gel 1.2 percent slash five percent this one here is um is meant to be uh refrigerated so i'm going to run really quickly and put it in the fridge so i just put it back in the fridge i only bought it out for the film it's meant to be refrigerated i don't want it to lose its potency um it's interesting because i've purchased benzoyl peroxide from the duane reed or whoever in the past you know not the medication grade just a regular um i guess from the like the neutrogena brand benzoyl peroxide and I don't believe that they say keep refrigerated. So I'm guessing the difference is in the strength. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, anyhow, so those two creams, they're really strong. My doctor warned me that they may cause um, severe dryness and peeling. I've been on those creams for two nights and I have not had any peeling or dryness, honestly. And it could be because of her other recommendations. So because they are so strong and they leave my skin so sensitive, my doctor recommended a few things, um, a few skincare items. And that's, I have those here in my Target bag. <laughs> this is so cute. When I do these little things, I feel like one of those cute little 13-year-olds that are like, and this is what I got. <laughs> Anyhow, so for the dryness, my doctor recommended CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I told her that I already had the lotion and she said, that's great, but I'm going to need the cream. Um, so... I wash my face at night. I do this at night, this, this treatment um, at night only. I wash my face at night and then I apply my CeraVe moisturizing cream all over my face. Honestly speaking, the cream doesn't make me feel as hydrated as all my other lotions and serums do. Like I can feel my other products soak into my skin and my skin feels so happy and it has a lot of movement. With this, I don't feel that way. But when I, when I rinse it off my face, my skin is really soft and happy and and I don't, you know, my skin doesn't feel dry or anything like that. It just doesn't feel as moisturized as it does with my other creams. But I'm guessing it works more to protect me. It works more to protect my skin. Um, so I'm going to continue using, using it. I have no complaints, but I did notice that my skin doesn't feel as moisturized as it does with my other creams that sink into my skin. Um, but you know, I got to listen to what the doctor recommends. And for the most part, I look moisturized. I look good. I feel good. I just don't feel as great as I do with my other products. I will, I will say that there must be a reason though. Um, anyhow, so yes. So every night I apply this medication, I put my cream on. And I'm expecting to have that peeling and that roughness that the doctor said I will have, and I don't have it. So maybe I just don't have sensitive skin. So because these two products are, you know, strong, they're going to make my skin really sensitive to the sun, and I must wear SPF. So my doctor recommended La Roche-Posay and Thelios SPF 50 Mineral Ultralight Sunscreen. Um, I'm wearing this right now. It's really, really thin. It says that you can wear it under makeup. It says that it has matte finish and that is non-whitening, but I think it's a little whitening. I think it leaves me a little ghostly. What do you think? I think it leaves me a little ghostly. And lastly, she also recommended Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser uh, fo Foaming Formula from Neutrogena. This is a really gentle... Um, skin cleanser i will admit that this is the one thing i haven't tried just yet but i have to leave it in my fridge in order to remember to use it i mean in my shower in my shower i have all my other uh <laughs> cleansers and they're really 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 gentle and i love them so i've been using them um but i'm going to go ahead and leave this in my shower so that i don't forget let me leave it out where i can see it and i'll put it back in the bag um anyhow so that's it i'm not quite sure what caused this this acne breakout it could be my stress it could be um it could be oil cleansing i don't know but we're gonna get to the bottom of it and we're gonna find you know the answer together i have an appointment a month from now to see my dermatologist so what i'm going to do is at this moment take a photo of my acne both sides and i'm going to come back to you in a month and report report what my doctor says report any new medications she gives me um you know i'll just give you an update a month from now when she gives me an update um anyhow i hope that you found this video fun and different i again i'm not speaking for the greater community i'm talking about my own experiences here i do not want you all to follow anything that i'm doing you know i don't know how these things might affect you 
Um, so yes, I'm just sharing what's happening with me right now. Please don't take anything from this video except that you should be protecting your skin. Um, anyhow, thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned. My next video is actually a thrift haul. And, um, and yeah, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, hitting your notifications. You know, you know the routine already. Um, I'll talk to you soon.